Welcome, Nis Brune, who is the CSO of Scanion Oncology. First of all, what does Scanion Oncology do? So we are a biotech company, a Danish biotech company listed on the Swedish stock market. And we have one focus, that is to develop drugs that interferes with drug resistance in cancer. And just to explain what do I mean with resistance, everybody knows about drug resistance, antibiotic resistance in bacteria, but unfortunately we have exactly the same problem or even worse in oncology. And uh, you had a positive phase one study where it showed that SCO101 was safe and well tolerated. Can you give us an update how, how the process of phase two is going? Yeah, um, so it's correct when uh, SCO101 was given as monotherapy, that means given alone, it was very safe with very limited toxicity. But uh, when you develop a drug like SA101 that is going to be given together with chemotherapy, you need to make sure that you are doing no harm and no added toxicity when you combine. So that's what we are in the process of doing now in metastatic colorectal cancer patients who have become resistant to uh, chemotherapy, in this case, free chemotherapy. And uh, we have reported on the first couple of patients and uh, we got very excited when we saw the data because the first patient got stable disease. Uh, in uh, both of these patients we saw what we call our exposure biomarker and I will not make it too complicated but there's something we can measure in the blood, it's bilirubin that shows that the patient actually took the tablet, it's a tablet they take at home. They took the tablet and we can see in the blood that um, it works when they, so it's taken up by the intestine and gets into the blood. Thirdly, we showed that uh, all these patients, they have a primary uh, colorectal cancer that was removed, but now they got spread later on to the liver, so they have liver metastasis. And when you have liver metastasis as a patient, the cancer cells, it's colon cancer that is in the liver now it degrades, kills the liver cells. And these uh, dead liver cells, they release some uh, enzymes and we can measure uh, that. And now we can measure when we give SEO 101 on top, they go down. Thirdly, we can see that uh, SEO 101 works um, additively with the chemotherapy on the white blood cells. So I think we got everything we had wished for um, in, in these patients. And now we are finalizing the first part in order to find the dose that we will apply on the, in the next study. And uh, you recently got nominated to the Matvin Award. Can you tell us more about that, about that and what that means more specifically for Scanion Oncology? Yeah, so it's, it's very important to start with the last part of it. Very important for Scanion Oncology because we went through a number of selection processes and then ended up in the finals. And uh, that means that we'll be um, presenting to a number of uh, uh, investors that invest specifically in biotech in oncology. And the second day, we will meet um, top management people from 18 large pharma companies within oncology and to present our program. So I think it's extremely important. And uh, for those who have tried to, to uh, negotiate with Big Pharma, just to find out who you should talk to is a challenge by itself. So this is a fantastic opportunity. And you have also received a final approval for the, from the Danish Medicine Agency and Ethical Committee. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so our second study is in pancreatic cancer. And it's not because it's pancreatic cancer, it's because in pancreatic cancer we are using another type of chemotherapy named the taxanes. They're not being used in colorectal cancer. And SA101 is not for specific cancer types, it's for specific resistant mechanisms. For example, resistant mechanisms induced by fulfurate treatment and resistant mechanisms induced by taxane treatment. So that's why we have two different studies. So we are going for mechanisms and not for specific cancer types. But knowing that taxanes are being used in at least 10 different cancer forms, you can imagine that if it works in pancreatic cancer, you can move to all the other cancer types afterwards. How was the search of a partnership regarding SO, SEO 101 phase two going? Yeah, so this is part of our uh, work now. And uh, we just uh, replaced me as CEO uh, with Bo Ode Hansen, 
who is now the new CEO, and I became the CSO, as, uh, as you mentioned, and um, he's an expert in business development. He has a long faculty record in business development, and this was very important for us to bring that expertise into the company. The Madwin we just talked about is one of these processes where we meet all these uh, companies, but what they say, and there's a lot of interest because nobody has such a drug. Uh, they want to see the phase two data, proof of concept data. And uh, can you give a comment on the recent press release? Yeah, so we had a press release today uh, giving uh, updated timelines on our clinical trials. And uh, we had hoped that we could keep the timelines, but mainly due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we got delayed, in the, in, especially in the first part of, of the corrected cancer study. And the reason was that the nurses in the oncology department that takes care of clinical trials, they were moved from oncology to infectious medicine because they needed people over there when they had a lot of people on respirators, respirators and um, uh, a lot of people coming into the hospital and so on. So we, we got simply delayed. But we are up to speed and uh, we do whatever we can to get back to the timelines. And uh, looking forward, where do you as Scan Oncology are putting the most focus on right now? We are putting most focus on the proof of concept clinical studies. So what we need now is to, to demonstrate that the whole concept works, that we can block resistance and have a new response to the chemotherapy in otherwise resistant patients. And then we need to find a partner that can uh, help us performing the phase three study, a registration study, so we can get it out to the patients. That is the focus. Thank you, Nils, for your time and good luck. Thank you.